everybody, how you doing? Today I'd like to talk about three teams who I think are flying under the radar when it comes to winning the Super Bowl this year. I don't think they're getting as much credit as they deserve when it comes to possibly winning the Super Bowl. First team I want to talk about, the Chargers. You're not hearing any love for the Chargers Super Bowl chances so far. You gotta look at it like this. They play in a terrible division. That division is bad. The Chiefs, Raiders, and Broncos, if you compare that to the AFC East with the Dolphins, Jets, and Patriots, the AFC North with the Bengals, Ravens, and Steelers, the Chargers have a great shot to get a first round bye. If they are one of the top two teams in the AFC, you only need to win two playoff games and you're in the Super Bowl. I like those chances. And as long as Ryan Matthews is healthy, he's going to easily get the 730 yards that LT gained last year. He'd get that in his sleep. The next team I want to talk about, the Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? This is a little bit of a controversial pick because you could say they're getting a lot of hype or you could say they're not getting a whole lot of hype. If you look at a power rankings poll, they're high up there. If you just do word of mouth, I guarantee you just mentioning the Dallas Cowboys, there are tons of people watching this video. Well, a handful. Let's not get my views out of control here. Not that many people watch my videos, but of the people who watch my videos, I can sense a lot of them saying, oh, come on, the Cowboys, are you serious? Supposedly, Wade Phillips isn't a Super Bowl caliber head coach. Tony Romo isn't a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. Yeah, look at the 07 Giants. Everybody was saying that about Tom Coughlin and Eli Manning. They found a way to get it done. And while the Giants' defense was more dominant at times than this Cowboys' defense should be, they were the ninth-ranked total defense last year. They were fourth against the rush, which is really good. You love those teams that can stuff the rush come playoff time. The Cowboys have a very good shot to win it all. And they upgraded with Des Bryant. So I think the Cowboys should get a little bit more attention than they've gotten. And the number one team that has not gotten any love whatsoever this offseason, who that? That's right. The New Orleans Saints. I haven't heard anybody picking them to win the Super Bowl this year. And yes, it's tough to repeat, but they do have Drew Brees, right? That guy is still playing for the Saints. They've got a shot, all right? They still have the number one offense returning. And one thing that really gets under my skin, I've heard this a few times in the offseason. Some people have said the Saints got hot at the right time when they won the Super Bowl last year. That's something you say about a 9-7 wildcard team who just gets hot at the right time. You don't say that about a team who was 13-0, one of the top teams in the NFL all of last year, who lost to the Cowboys and took the rest of the regular season off, and then went on to win the Super Bowl. You don't say that. To me, that discredits the Saints for being as good as they were last year. And you look at their chances this year, they did have the 25th ranked defense last year, and there's two ways to look at that. You can say, they had the 25th ranked defense. How the heck are they going to repeat this year? Or you can say, they had the 25th ranked defense and they won a Super Bowl. Imagine if they're better. So, long story short, all three of these teams have a legitimate shot to win the Super Bowl. And I think they deserve a little bit more credit and a little more hype than they're getting right now before the season starts. I'm Brian No, That's a no-brainer.